bar is great for full body sculpting and toning and you will definitely feel the burn during this workout. You can do the entire workout without any equipment. However, I will also give the option to use light dumbbells. I'm gonna use three pounds. We're gonna think of every move as a core exercise. We want to breathe 360 degrees into our ribs, allowing us to keep our core engaged and protected throughout the workout. If you have diastasis suspecti, do the workout without weights and use the modifications. We'll start warming up our spine. We can come to all fours. We'll actually just need one weight if you're gonna use a weight to start with. Moving into cat and cow, exhale, scoop your belly. Inhale, tilt your tailbone, look up. Move back and forth with your breath. Coming back to a neutral spine. If you're gonna grab your weight, you can grab your weight in one hand, extend the opposite leg back, and then we'll lift arm and leg. For a modification, you can lift your leg only. Exhale, engage your core as you lift, lower down. Two more. Last one, hold up. Let's pulse our leg. Releasing down, beautiful. Switching to the other side. Exhale, lift down. On this last one, hold up, pulse your leg. Release down. Switch your weight to the other hand again. We're going to lift our elbow and leg up, bent. So lift, bend, extend, squeeze here, squeeze your tricep, squeeze your leg, bend down again. We'll do eight of these. On this last one, hold here in the extension. Flip your palm up, pulsing here. Release down, switching to the other side. Getting ready. Bend, extend, squeeze, bend, lower down. Holding in your extension on this last one. Flip your palm up, pulsing here. Core is engaged. Releasing down, good. We can put our weights back if you're using your weights. Let's extend one leg behind. 
We're gonna move into a Pilates push-up. You can stay here so that your knee is under your hip, especially if you have diastasis recti. For more of a challenge, you can walk your hands a little bit forward. So wherever you are, moving into a push-up, core is engaged. We'll come down here and hold, pulsing. Coming up, switching to the other side. Take a breath, re-engage your core, lowering down, elbows pointing behind you. Next one, stay down here, pulse. Beautiful. Come on up. We're gonna take our, your arm that is farthest away from your screen. We'll come down onto our forearm. Open your hips up towards me. Your back ankle can move back like a kickstand. And we're gonna kick up 10 times. Hold it up, pulse here. Releasing it down. We'll come back to square our hips and then we're gonna open up for fire hydrant here. Nice big range of motion, back down again. Holding up at the top here, pulsing. Release down, good. Let's take a quick stretch through our glutes just by sitting back. Take a couple of deep breaths. Other side. We'll do those on the other side. Coming down onto your forearm. Re-engaging your core, lift. Lift and hold, pulse. Release down, bring in our knee down. We'll open up for fire hydrant. Not letting your hips sway back and forth at all. On this last one, hold up, pulse here. Good, oof, I can feel the burn. Let's stretch our glutes out. Good, we can grab a quick sip of water.
Feel free again to do this section without weights or you can grab your light dumbbells or water bottles and would also work great for this section. We're gonna find our way to a lunge position. As we lunge down, we're gonna move our arms up, re-engaging your core. Now let's bring our knee in, exhale, and elbows back, back to a lunge. From this lunge here, we're gonna move into a warrior three position. We're gonna swing our arms back, tip forward, triceps at the end, and then back to our lunge. Moving with your breath. Last one. Back to our lunge, pulsing here. Beautiful release, shake it out. Let's get set up on the other side. Lunging down. After this next one, knee in, elbows in. As we exhale, Now from our lunge here, moving back, tipping forward. Last one. Lunge, pulses. Beautiful. Shake it out. Let's bring our feet wide apart, palms forward. You can lift your right heel up, bend, option to bicep curl. Let's stay down, take your arms midway, 
pulse here. Coming up, switching to the other side. Continuously bringing your attention back to your core. Holding halfway. Releasing out. Let's bring our arms out to the side as we go down now. Lifting up onto your toes again. Heels aren't very high off. Now coming down, pulsing. Beautiful, release your heels. Option to bring your hands up behind you or you can leave them in front of you. Exhale, tilt to the side, engage your obliques. Coming up. Last one, good, release. We can grab a sip of water and I'll meet you down on the mat again. Moving back to all fours. We're gonna move into a push-up. Tuck your toes, exhale, lift your knees off, pressing into either downward dog or child's pose. Coming back down, push-up, repeat, exhale. Last one, let's stay here. We can pedal out through our heels. Dropping both knees down again, exhale. Coming up onto our knees. We're gonna move into a kneeling lunge if you wanted to fold your mat up. If your back knee starts to hurt, you can. Let's take that knee forward. We're gonna swing our hands up, lunge and then flex your front foot, slightly hinge here, moving back and forth. Let's stay in our lunge on this next one, good. Same arm as front leg that is forward. And then we can take a nice side stretch here. Exhale, engage your obliques to come up. Pressing your weight into your front foot, shifting back. Let's flex again and we'll hold our hamstring stretch here. Lengthen your spine.
Switching to the other side. Sweeping up, flex at the bottom. Staying in this next lunge. Nice side bend. Exhale, coming up. Flexing your front foot. Heel presses into the ground as if you're trying to move it through the floor. Gently release. Let's sit back on our heels. You can either clasp your elbows for this chest opener or if your hands can clasp, keeping your ribs pulled in. If your hands are clasped, hands can reach away. Gently release. An option to clasp and round out here, or for an advanced option, place the tops of your hands on the ground, tuck your chin, top of the head on the ground, and then lift your glutes into the air into rabbit pose. Release out. Let's take a chest opener again. Gently released, rounding out or rabbit pose. Slowly moving out. Let's come to face the front. We can bring both legs out. This first weight we're gonna do as a core exercise. We're gonna tilt to one side, use our core to come up, switching back and forth. Last one, good, and now we can stretch. Exhale, other side. Exhale, come up, we can cross our legs. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna to link to my video on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap right there. Thank you so much for joining me today, you did amazing.